Welcome to How To Dino. Today I will show you how to use the Auto Responder module. Let's start by visiting the DinoBot dashboard. Click on the Manage Servers button, then click on the server you'd like to manage. Next click on the Modules tab and select Auto Responder. Please make sure the Auto Responder module is enabled. Now let's add a response. In this example, I'll show you how to make Dino respond to user mentions. Before I continue, let me show you the proper way to format user mentions for autoresponder. In the Discord server, mention the user you'd like to add to autoresponder. Then place a backslash before the user mention. You'll be left with the user ID. Copy the ID. In the dashboard, take the ID you've copied and paste it into the command field. Once pasted, add an explanation mark after the at symbol, as done on screen. Now let's create the response. Set the response to anything you'd like. I've set mine to this as a test, for the purpose of this video. You can select the channel in which the autoresponder can respond in, by setting an allowed channel. Once an allowed channel is set, any channels that aren't listed will be ignored. Leave this option blank if you'd like Dino to respond in all channels. You can also set channels autoresponder should ignore. Dino will not auto-respond in ignore channels. If you'd like Dino to respond to sentences that contain your auto-respond phrase anywhere in the message, enable the wildcard option. If you leave this option disabled, users will have to type your auto-respond phrase in word for word. Just like custom commands, you cannot have auto-responses with the same trigger word or phrase. Please take note of the Disable Wildcard option. Let's test our auto responses. As you can see, with the wildcard option enabled, I am able to place my user mention anywhere in a sentence, and Dino will still respond. And with the wildcard option off, Dino will only respond if I type the word test exactly. You can edit or remove existing auto responses right from the dashboard. In this case I'm going to remove our old response and create a new one that can react to messages containing our trigger. Same rules apply for reaction auto responses. Let's test our new reaction auto response. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.